Hello, my name is Andros Kadavid and we're going to run through the commissioning of a sunny island uh, of the new generation. Just a quick configuration guide to have, the, to have the system up and running in five minutes. For the new sunny islands, uh, we need to use the sunny remote control to set them up and to go through the menu structure. So first thing is uh, turning the device on. Then we'll see this sequence on the screen. We just go to init system, hold the button, and then it does these three beeps. Uh, that means that we are in the quick configuration guide, which is to start uh, a new off-grid system. For first time, we have to select new system. And then the first thing it asks for is the date. Then once this is set up, we go for the time. The time is important, not only, well, to have the right time, but also for the data logs. They are logged with time, uh, stamp on them, so it's important to know when things happened. Uh, we have the battery type. In this case, we are using gel batteries, so that's valve regulated lead acid. Uh, we just leave this option. Uh, next is the battery voltage. It's a 48 volt uh, battery bank. We go to the next to set the capacity. It is important to note that this capacity is in C10. Uh, in a lot of battery data sheets, you will have the data in C100. There is a table in the manual, in the user manual, that tells you how to translate C100 into C10. So we'll set this battery, which is a 500 amp hours battery. Go to the next step, which is, that's the uh, frequency of the grid, uh, voltage and frequency, it's 230 volts, 50 hertz. Uh, the cl cluster type, in this case, it's a single sunny island, single phase system. So one phase is, uh, is the option we want to choose. Uh, this is the external source. Here is where we select whether there is only PV connected to the system or there is any external power source. In this case, we have a diesel generator. So we go here and select gen. We could select grid if there was a grid as a, an external power source or gen plus grid if there is both. Then it asks for the generator current nominal, not to overload it. We have a 22 amps diesel gen set. The generator start mode in this case is automatic, so we'll leave it in auto start. It could as well be manual. And then we have the type of grid. We can select TN or TT depending on the uh, generator type, the grid that the generator gives us an output. We have a TN1 because we've connected the neutral to the protective earth. And then, uh, as you see, the system is already set up, is ready to go. So we just accept these changes. There is a one last option, which is whether there are slaves or not, because as you know, the system can be configured with a single sunny island or more than one. In this case, uh, we only have one. So we say that there is no slaves, and then it gives us the option to start the inverter. Obviously we start it. And once the inverter is started, we come to this uh, main screen, which will show us the battery state of charge, will show us the power coming from the generator and the status of the generator through this switch, which is open now because the generator is off, and will show us the power to the loads which is zero now because we don't have any loads. Uh, we can see the time, we can see the status of both internal relays of the sunny island. Uh, we see which inverter this is, is the master of the first cluster. Obviously there is only one, so uh, there is no other option for it. And we have here a B, that means that the system will start the diesel generator for battery purposes, for recharging the batteries and performing a full charge, which is what it always does in the first place. Well, uh, we've set up a single phase system with one sunny island. There is obviously a lot more options, uh, but we wanted to show how to set up a basic system. So the system is up and running now and we have our load supplied and the system ready to go. Thank you very much for watching and see you the next time.